Hi everyone, it's Heather Crosby from Yum Universe, and today I'm going to show you how to make kale chips, and more specifically my favorite kind of kale chips, which are an almond crunch kale chip. Couldn't be easier to make. You can prepare them raw or baked in the oven, that's your choice, the ingredients are the same. But what's important here is that most people think that kale is like a garnish on a plate, or it's a bitter green that they're not all that interested in eating, but I'm here to show you that kale can be incredibly delicious. It's one of the most nutritious greens that you can eat, and you really can end up eating a whole head of kale in one sitting with this recipe. Um, another thing to note is that a lot of kale, recipe, kale chip recipes tend to use a lot of oil, and specifically olive oil, and in this recipe I use just a little bit of coconut oil, which is a medium chain triglyceride, which will burn up in your body as energy faster than an olive oil or any other kind of oil. It's actually a little bit better for you. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got my kale washed and de-stemmed in a bowl. It's really important to de-stem your kale because once it uh, loses its water and ends up becoming crunchy like chips, that, that stem will kind of become kind of bark-like and that's not that, it's not that yummy. So make sure you wash and de-stem and chop, roughly chop your kale. You still want some pretty big pieces because they're going to shrink up quite a bit. So you don't want kale dust. Make sure you've got some bigger pieces of kale, but not too big. Chop it up. What you're going to do is you're going to take some coconut oil, and I've uh, melted mine over a low temp on the stove um, just so it's easier to work with. So I'm going to massage it into the leaves here. And again, if you don't have one of these silicone kitchen scrapers, I highly recommend it. It really helps you get all of your ingredients out of the bowls and mix everything really well. So now I'm just going to use a pinch of fine ground sea salt and just a tiny bit here because you can always salt after they're baked or dehydrated. You don't want the salt to become too strong and while it's baking or dehydrating it really amplifies the flavor. So just a touch of salt. And I have here a handful of almond flour. Now I tend to buy my almond flour from a company called Benefit Your Life. They make the best almond flour. And when I don't have any in stock in the fridge, I just go ahead and put a handful of organic raw almonds in the food processor, process it up until it's kind of like a flour, and then toss that in there. So whatever works for you, do what's easiest. So here I am just putting this almond flour in here. You can use just a little bit. You don't have to use a whole handful. I tend to like the crunch factor of the extra almond flour. So let's get that all in there. And this is the best part. Always kind of fun after a long, stressful day. But get in there and really mash it all together. You want to kind of start wilting the leaves. And that's what the salt will help do at this point. It's going to start to release some of the moisture from the leaves. You just kind of want to get them so they're a little bit wilty before you put them in the oven or in the dehydrator. And once they become kind of really super bright green and feel like they're starting to wilt, you go ahead and put them on your cookie sheet. Now it's really important when you're putting them on the cookie sheet that you don't overcrowd the cookie sheet. You want to make sure that the kale is evenly spaced around and not piled on top of each other. Because as the moisture releases, you want it to do it evenly. And if you're in piles, you're going to have some kale chips that are crunchy and some that are kind of soggy. So make sure they're scattered about. And then you're going to put them in the oven. So as you can see, our kale chips are done. Couldn't be easier to make. The whole family loves them. They're crunchy, just a little bit salty. The best part is that you end up eating a whole head of kale in one sitting. Um, for all the step-by-step -step photos and measurements and instructions on how to make these kale chips, visit yumuniverse.com.